Shalom Israel. Shalom. Shalom. The brother Bana, his brother Nathan. And brother Malak Lab. And we're here through his spirit to bring out the word to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Shah. So as always, we want to begin with giving all honor, glory, and praises unto our power. And double honors to our elder apostles, bishops, and great millstone who rule well and teach well with sound doctrine. Shalom to the like-minded brethren, teaching in truth Shalom. and sincerity, pushing this word across all four corners, risking their lives and freedoms to do so more so than ever in these latter days. And shalom to the believers, the followers of this word. The hopeful elect, Tabernacle of David, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, for I could thumb, keep pushing, keep enduring, seeking salvation and repentance in these latter days. That's right. And now is the time, more so than ever, as we see, you know, prophecy popping off, man, and, and the spirit of Yahweh Shai really here, man, because Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy, you know, mm -hmm. and we see this third woe, uh, how freaking close it is, man, and, and brothers mm -hmm. are, you know, rejoicing, man, to see that everything that uh, we've received through the spirit, this word, Everything that uh, brothers have been prophesying for years and years is right there, man. It's in it's in living proof now. You know, you know that brothers have faith and seen these things. Uh, you know, uh, believing in these things without seeing them before, but now we actually see these things happening, man. So it is. Uh, you know, this makes the the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai true, man, and every man a liar because many were unbelieving, many scoffed and mocked at, at the prophets, man, at this truth. And now we're seeing it, man, it comes to fruition. So we got to go harder than ever, man, in these latter days. That's right, man. Yeah, we're seeing uh, this, the, you know, digital currency and whatnot, mm -hmm. the MOTP, things yeah. as such, man, wars and news of war. Yeah, yeah. Shimeo Shah is turning up. You hear the turn up as was deemed by Elder Apostle Bahar. Yeah. Yeah. You know, really turning up here in these latter days, man. That's right. So I'm going to jump right into it. This is uh, Ezekiel 7 and verse 5. Thus saith the Adawan, Yahweh, an evil and only evil, behold, is come. That's right. This is the <laughs> this is the most high Yahweh, uh, mm -hmm. you know, giving this word unto Ezekiel, mm -hmm. you know, warning Israel and Israel being uh, a people before it was a place. So, you know, in these latter days, the, the majority of Israel being here in Babylon, America, man, and us knowing that an evil, only evil, evil going into bad times, man. That's all that there is left here, man. Nothing but bad times until Yahweh Shai comes and restores the goodness here on the earth, man. That's right. But that, that bad time is, you know, it has, we have to go through it, man. And we know that the more evil that comes upon this place, the closer Yahweh Shai's return is, man. So we got to be excited for it, man. Mm -hmm. And have the faith that the Adawan's going to, he's going to deliver us, man. But, uh, I got, you got I got a quick, yeah, uh, I got a quick precept. Back up that precept. <clears throat> yeah, this, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter fourteen and verse sixteen. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Yeah, we're going into some real evil times, man. Uh, verse seventeen, uh, it says, "For look how much, for it says, for look how much." the world shall be weaker through age seeing as as the time goes by man as we getting closer to our redemption uh, hey uh, the that age that eon that is speaking of is is that uh time of esau being in rulership man. Mm -hmm. the whole world man the earth you know and that's why uh yahushua said you know there'd be uh no flesh to save unless he sped up the days man for the elect mm -hmm. yeah go ahead I so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein it says for the time is fled far away and leasing is hard at hand for now hasten the vision to come which thou hast seen god god leasing is hard at hand because it, this place is on borrowed time man. you know mm -hmm. that's right man and you know the, the visitation of the Ottawan is is ever apparent upon the earth man you know, you got these earthquakes in diverse places, man. These, uh, you know, all these visitations, these punishments of the earth itself, man. You know, all these hurricanes, floods, droughts, things and such. And not only here in Babylon, America, but in, in other nations, man, in particular, uh, in other nations. Uh, so, as far as, you know, 
Manasse, so you know, the so the so called Cubans, right? You know, you have these hurricanes uh, in uh, Puerto Rico, Ephraim, you know, and uh, earthquakes over in uh, Mexico, right? The land of Ishikar, right? right? The so called Mexicans, right? So on and so forth, man. And uh, right now you have that you have these uh, escalations and, and uh, uprisings over in Haiti, right? Okay, being the so called Haitians, man, being uh, being right. the Levites, and they're really coming up against uh, Esau, man, trying to be over there, mm -hmm. you know. Sorry, man. But Sorry. like the brother said about Puerto Rico, you still had, uh, I don't know how many weeks later, what is it, three weeks later uh, from that hurricane, and you still got a bunch of people without power, man. Mm -hmm. And you've seen what just happened with uh, Ukraine, you know, and all the bombings over there, and you got millions of people without power over there as well. But hey, man, these are the times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. That's right, man. Kyle, why don't you uh, go ahead and bring up that precept back? Oh, Kyle. Kind of. yeah. Matthew. Matthew. Yeah, this is a book of uh, reading from the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. For you think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Right? So this is the, the our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So it says, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Kind of. So we know that the spirit of Yahweh Shai being here is not bringing peace. It's bringing nothing but evil and bad times so to bring that, that judgment upon this earth. Right? That, that what is it that um the lord's indignation man yep that's right indignation meaning righteous anger that continues on it says i came not to send peace but a sword that's right man so it's coming to bring sword kind of bring division kind and that sword coming in many fashions man coming with the the hypersonic missiles coming with uh war mm -hmm. but also coming with pestilence and famine man yep yep that's right, man. And we're seeing much more of that here in these latter days, you know. Again, man, with these uh, supply chains dwindling, the drought, you know, um, supply routes being cut off, so on and so forth. You know, you even, you even got these devils coming down. On uh, Like, in particular, one example being uh, here in Babylon, they're having, they, they want people to register their gardens. Oh, All their, their own gardens, man. They got yeah. to register them in a database, mm -hmm. right? So they can overregulate and ultimately take them over. All right. You know, rain barrels and stuff, man. You know what I mean? They 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 ain't even allowing people to do that, man. Trying to overregulate that as well. You know, mm -hmm. so so people with with their own that are able to sustain themselves, man. They want everyone and everything to be under the thumb of Esau. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Us insatiable appetite, trying to eat everything up so his belly's full. Yep. They just getting everybody ready, man. It's it's draconian laws coming in, man. Yeah, kind of, exactly. Kind of. You got, you know, Canada and whatnot and, and the deal with the World Economic Forum regarding the known traveler digital identity. Huh? And then they got other um, within sections of Europe as well, where they're having to register fingerprints and, and things as such, man, just to be able to travel right from kind of. across borders and such, man. So it, it's just continuing to escalate. man. Kind of, kind of. Now you got uh, states, certain states, California being one of them that just uh, approved uh, digital license plates. Mm -hmm. And they're they're connected to a, a computer system as well. So you're gonna have them tracking everywhere that these people go in their vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, keeping a, a carbon footprint tracker on it, pretty much, mm -hmm. and also being able to connect them to any types of crimes or just anything in general, man. Just mm -hmm. Esau with his uh, ultra surveillance, man. That Skynet network, so to speak. You know? Yep. Exactly, man. So, you know, these facial recognition, these these palm readers and so on and so forth, man. You know, like the Aquan I just mentioned, man, that's the uh, carbon footprint in relation to the social credit score. Um, obviously, with uh, that being implemented in, in a, a system that's already in place in, in, in the land of China, man, so-called Moabites. Or uh, Salakia, the so-called Chinese, the Moabites, biblical Moabites. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. I'm going to jump over real quick uh, to uh, Psalm 37. And uh, started at verse 18, and it reads, The uh, the Ottawan knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. So that's what we're trying to endure for, man. That's what we're fighting for. That's what we're going through all the afflictions for, to uh, receive that inheritance, that reward, man. Because all this suffering comes with the reward. It just says, Yahweh Shai suffered, and he, uh, you know, he received the glory of being seated at the right hand of the Heavenly Father. Or we're seeking to inherit just a little bit of that, man. Just a little bit of those promises that were made to our forefathers, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we understand, man, this little bit of suffering that we have to go through, man, is not to be compared 
to the glory which shall be revealed in us, man, when Amashiach come. You see? That's right. That's right. That's right. Real That's quick, right. Just to, before you go on this next verse, uh, Baba Gashah, Brother Malak, if you want to grab a Sirach 37, 25, Baba Gashah, just to, mm -hmm. just to add on that thought, because again, man, you know, we're seeking an inheritance, man. We're seeking to be a joint heir, and we're seeking that of, of the promise, man, the covenant that was made to our forefathers. And then just like the brother said, you know, the brightness of his coming, you know, uh, the glory being revealed with mm -hmm. the brightness of Yahweh's is coming. So when they see brothers, you know, receiving power, uh, divine intervention throughout Jacob's trouble, uh, ultimately when they see the elect getting beamed up, right, just as uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 speaks of, man, mm -hmm. that they shall be amazed at the uh, strangeness of his salvation, man. So, mm -hmm. Man, that's gonna be a glorious thing, man. When when the elect get beamed up, man. That's right, man. So again, the out of one know what the days of the upright, right? So those who are seeking to walk uprightly on the straight narrow path of the hopeful elect, man. Ultimately, the elect. Con, right? con, hey, man. When those ships crack the clouds, when those elect get beamed up, it's gonna be like that one uh, movie. What what's it called? Uh, the day the earth stood still. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything. It's time period. Everything's just gonna stop, man. And everyone's <laughs> the elect getting beamed up, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah, beautiful day, right? Uh, so the inheritance yeah. shall be forever, man. That's right. But go ahead, Aki, you got it. Sirach thirty-seven and verse twenty-five. You said, "Kai." And it says in the book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus thirty-seven and verse twenty-five, the days of the life of a man may be numbered. But the days of Yasharala are innumerable. Woo. Sorry, man. So that's again, that's what we're seeking to be of the first fruits, man, of the elect, man, of that harvest, man, when it comes down to Yahweh Shah Mashiach, while the holy angels, man, coming down to reap that harvest and beam up the elect. We're trying to be over that first fruits, that first go round, man, to gain that everlasting immortality, to gain celestial bodies and spiritual power, man. That's right. Okay. That's right. And that's hey. the upright. That's the reward that's coming to the upright, man. The elect. Uh, hey, Baba Gusha, Brother Malak, love you want to pull up that precept for me where it says, uh, greater works than these shall you do? Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to pull up uh, real quick. Uh, Psalms 37 and 19. And it says, they shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. And what is that evil time that is speaking of? That's talking about Jacob's trouble, uh, pursuing to Daniel 12 and 1 being, uh, uh, you want to pull that up, Brother Nathan? Uh, Daniel 12 and 1, Bible shop. John. I don't want to butcher it. John. But it says, uh, yeah, Psalm 37 and 19, they shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. And we shall not be ashamed because we're standing boldly uh, you know, making ourselves uh, uh, as fools for Yahweh Shai's sake, man. Preaching this gospel against all the uh, wicked and unbelievers, man. And we shall not be ashamed because we know that the Most High is going to be found true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But right. in that evil time, being Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. um, That's right, man. Go yeah. ahead and bring that up. Come. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, and verse 1. <clears throat> and at that time shall Michael, so the archangel, chief archangel Michael, Okay, stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, for the people of the heavenly father, the Yasha Allah. Okay, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, the children of Israel, the 12 tribes. Right now, it says, and there shall be a time of trouble. Speak going back into Jeremiah 30 and 7, speaking of uh, Jacob's trouble. It's like it now, it says, so to, uh, I'm gonna repeat that. And it says, and there shall be a time of trouble such as was never before since there was a nation even to that same time and that and at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book mm -hmm. right, man. that's right so the elect being preserved man. you know some may be martyrs as we know but but the elect being preserved man being uh, uh protected in the days of famine being satisfied you know you know, and that comes with the ability to uh, have divine intervention, to perform mm -hmm. miracles. You know, as the crows fed Elijah, man, God. as, you know, many of the miracles that have uh, preserved our forefathers. Can we go ahead and bring that up, Brother Malak Love? All right. This is the book of John, chapter 14 and verse 11. 
This is Mashiach speak, uh, speaking. It says, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verse 12, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than those than these shall he do, because I go unto the Father. Mm -hmm. So I'll break that down, actually, man. Yeah. yeah, so we believe just as Yahweh Shai, you know, and, and the Father helped him, you know, and he did the miracles, man. The same thing we're going to be doing in these days, man. We believe, man. You know, and we call on the name Yahweh Shah, man. All things should be done through him, man. You know, so, uh, you know, we get the power, you know, from Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man, straight from Yahweh Shah to be able to do these works here soon come, man. We're going to be doing a lot more works than Yahweh Shah himself did, man. You know, as I said, man, we're going to be doing greater works, man. So, yeah, you know, we yeah. just got to prepare ourselves. That belief, you know, that faith is... It's a key importance in that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, just as the the account of uh, you know when Yahweh Shai when they're out on the the ship out in the sea, Yahweh Shai was uh, walking on the water, man, and he called out uh, when Peter saw him, and you know he he was uh, a little bit frightened, and he called out to Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai said to come for him to come to him, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, he started slipping in the water because of his, his, you know, his belief, you know, was, uh, it was a little bit weakened, you know, he was a little bit fearful. Uh, he, he let the, the carnal things kind of, uh, uh, make him second guess, man, walking out on that water. Mm -hmm. But Yahweh Shai said, what, when man, he said, oh, you, uh, of little faith, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. He said, without faith, it's impossible to please the father, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. On that time to come, that faith, that belief, man, that hope, that's going to be, a, like you said, man, like Dr. Nanja said, man, it's going to be a key ingredient, man, in this thing. That's one of those, those are the building blocks on this thing, man, to, to help sustain us, man. That foundation that is Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, we have to have the utmost faith and belief. Yeah. It just says Yahweh Shai said, you know, <laughs> when Yahweh Shai returns, shall you not find faith on the earth? Yeah. yeah, exactly. And like, and going back to that, you know, because again, in, in these times to come, man, famine, the sword, the pestilence, things as such, man, is, uh, you know, different forms of martial law, things as such, man, okay, it's going to be heavy. And we're going to need the utmost faith and hope and belief, trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to, to be delivered, man, in those days, man. You yeah, know? we're going we gonna to need that to why, man. God. Hey, that's why we're doing these works, man. That's right, the mark of exemption from judgment. That's right, man. That's right. Why? Now, going back to that song, right, 30... Man. And that's going to be the ultimate thing that tries our, our faith, man, that really tests it, you know? Really keep pushing it to uh, the limit, man, to see whether it is of the Heavenly Father or not, man. Yep. You know, uh, that purified gold, you know? Mm -hmm. Really getting it to that that melting point to where you see what it's made of, man. And that's what that hour of temptation, that's what these uh, uh, Jacob's troubles is going to be. Mm -hmm. That's when it's really going to turn up the heat, man. Yeah, and this knowledge and wisdom that we getting right now, man, is the same thing that's gonna be in that day that we're gonna need, man. Cause knowledge and wisdom is gonna be the stability, man. And that's all we're gonna have, really, man. Yep. You know, and the yep. spirit. Yeah, right, man. Man. And you know, obviously, you know, through the spirit, man, you know, like brothers uh elder Kazaki Allah, you know, out of GMS Mississippi camp, you know, I was also gone into and, and other brothers as well, lessons, you know, that stability goes into faith, mm -hmm. right? And and also just another to kind of another to add on to that, if you will, um, is that that's speaking of stability, man, because things are going to become very unstable yeah, as they already are, man. Yeah. We're seeing the uh, inflation really take off, but but it hasn't hit to the point where it's going to, man, to mm -hmm. where there, the lack of goods is going to really make this thing skyrocket. Mm -hmm. You know, you already seen the price of gas. You already seen the, the price of food and uh you know a really high rate but you could still kind of afford it man people can mm -hmm. buy stuff but you're gonna get to the point where hey people ain't gonna have any money to buy shit and that's when these storehouses are gonna get looted mm -hmm. that's when all uh hell's gonna break loose out here man the purge god god and you know again uh, to go back to that phone 37 and god, it, uh just to lock you for cutting you out mm -hmm. but uh, there was that warning recently about uh, the layoffs that were going to um, 
proceed throughout the end of this year and into next year mm -hmm. that there is a projected uh, one of the uh, key uh, uh, one of no, one of these key um, uh, business uh, insider type of uh, you know entities that projects everything as far as the uh, business markets go economy things like that they're projecting uh, um, I forget how many but Fifty thousand plus uh, jobs being lost each month uh, from this point forward, going into next year, man. God, I believe I believe that could have been. Yeah, they, I think it might have been Bank of America that projected that, but uh, I could be you know mistaken. But the point being, yeah, like Doc and I said, man, there's gonna be mass layoffs, you know, especially with the ushering in of these, these technology, man, the robot technology and, and many different forms of AI, things and such, man. So what we're gonna do with a way with uh, you know. With, with having to have you know human personnel if you will run run certain particular systems man because they find it more cost effective to have you know robot ran the ai ran uh toll booths and, and certain systems man uh, obviously you see that in in other parts of the world man yeah you know, i Asia. mean you've got uh places like uh you know uh, certain uh, amazon shops or certain shops period where they don't have any actual live people really working there unless they mm -hmm. might uh, stock in the shelves or something, but people go in there and they pay with their swipe of their hand or something, man, mm -hmm. or their phone, you know? Yeah. Getting your food made by a damn robot, you know? Yeah. How do it's coming that way, man? Especially with these things like these uh, 3D printed meats, quote unquote, things like that, man, you know? So, yeah, that's, that kind of stuff is coming, man. I got a quick, uh, was you about to get something? Nah, go ahead, Aki, you got it. <clears throat> a quick precept. Mm hmm. Um, you know, this is second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 18 it says for because of their pride, uh, uh, so like it for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. And it says the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread. And for great tribulation. Sorry, go break it down, Ike. Yeah, so because of the pride of this world, man, because of the pride of Esau, Edom done shown to this world and made the whole world prideful, you know, the cities are going to be troubled, man. Especially Babylon the Great, though. Babylon the Great going to be troubled. And it says the houses shall be destroyed. And that's what's coming. Men shall be afraid, you know says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor you know uh what it said because inequity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold mm -hmm. and it says but shall destroy their houses with the sword you know uh like brother said man purge you know something like the purge coming man and it says and spoil the goods people are going to be looting one another because of lack of bread and for great tribulation because of the times that we're going to be in God. God. Absolutely. Man. There was this uh, video of the, the elder brother, uh, um, Amuan, uh, who was it? Uh, the brother from New York. Uh, what was that? Uh, uh, GMS Awakening 144. Um, oh, yeah, Amuan Gabar. Gabar. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. locked here. Uh, he just put out a video uh, pretty much like a week or two ago talking to a, a co worker of his, but pretty much uh, he was recording a conversation speaking on. Uh, you know, uh, there being a famine or a, a lack of uh, any food out there, and 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 cannibalism was brought up, and, and his coworker pretty much said that if he didn't have anything to eat, that shit, fuck it, he'd be down to eat people. He would eat them mm. to yeah. survive. <laughs> and that's those are the kind. That's just one example, man. You know, but, I mean, especially yeah. with all these damn. You know, Jeffrey Dahmer on Netflix, man. Everyone talking about that. There's that other show, you know what I mean? Dude mm -hmm. cut up people, man, and freaking sending them, sending parts across the world, man. Yeah, more and more, man, you've seen that, man. It's like, um, let's say it, man. Hey, but that's how, how gone people are right now, man. Yeah. Where, yep. Hey. That point, man, where it's like, yeah, man, so, you know, they're, they're going to consider that survival of the fittest, if you will, right? I mean, and then, hey, what's, what's to stop them from, from doing that, man, you know? And especially with with all these things that are being uh, promoted, these vibrations, if you will, man, all these little ideas that are being planted, man, this gradualism, you know what I mean? And, and uh, these wicked enchantments God, that Esau's yeah. using. Yep, Esau enchanting the two-thirds, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. 
Exactly, man. So, you know, even, even going back to the days of uh, even old school, man, go, you, you know, you, you get, if, I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, Brother Lynch Hung and some of those uh, Bay Area rappers from like the, you know, from the 90s, but uh, they used to talk about cannibalism too, you know? So, yeah. yeah. They used to talk about that kind of stuff too, man. So, yeah, bro, those are just, those are just examples, but, you know, forms of enchantment, if you will, and things of such, man, planting those seeds, man. Oh, man. We better yeah, have the faith, man. We have belief in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh providing for us, man. You know, uh -huh. how, some way, wherever we are, man, that the Most High is going to deliver something to us, man. What did he say? He said, because we keep the words of his patient, mm -hmm. he's also going to keep us, man. Preserve us from the hour of temptation. God. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. God. And we and stand it. in, in, in boldness for the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shabbat. Uh -huh. uh, there's a reward that comes to that, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's not so. It's a good segue. You know, I want to get back to uh, that Psalm, the back end of Psalm 37 and 19, where it reads, and in the days, uh, I'll reread 19. Psalm 37, 19 says, they shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Right, man, in, in particular, speaking of the elect, man, mm -hmm. you know, this is reading from the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 2, start at verse 26, says, as for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Right? Mm -hmm. You're going to require there's an elect, man. There's a predestined number, man, an elect, right? Okay, so they're required of the Ottawan. Right? Well, he said the, the, the least grain shall not fall, man. Yeah, kind of deceived. Kind of. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. man. That's right, man. You know, that sifting process is continuing here in these latter days, man. You know, the Heavenly Father is sifting, you know those out man and, and he's making sure that if, if they're of the elect man that they get brought back into the fold here man because obviously through the spirit we feel like the elect you know we're, we're nearing that the uh that elect number being sealed up man you know mm -hmm. if, if not already but uh, i'm gonna continue on here now and uh, finish up the point here in 2 and 27 second Ezra 2 27 says be not weary right so don't be weak you know faint-hearted man don't be you know weary in a form of weakness man so it says, be not weary, for when the day of trouble, speaking of that day of trouble, again, Jeremiah 30 and 7, you know, and speaking of that, that day of trouble, Jacob's trouble. Now it says, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Uh, uh, that's right, man. He said we're going to laugh, just like you have, but Shema is going to be laughing. You know, his elect, man, through the spirit, man, you know, after seeing the most high has has us, I don't want to write this out, I'm part of that number, which I believe I am. Put my faith and my hope in that, man. Okay. You know? Um, and, um, you know, we're going to be laughing, man, at the judgments happening on the wicked, man. Just as they laugh at us and, my, and scoff at us and laugh right now, man, we do the work. We're going to be laughing when they catch judgment in hell, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's the spirit that's going to be on us through the Father, man, out of one right to God, man. Kind of, you know, kind of, kind of above there and have abundance, man. Uh, Brother Malakla, Baba Kishak, uh, bring out Isaiah 65 and 13, just to back up that point. And I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, Psalms 37 and 20 here. So it says, uh, but the wicked shall perish in the enemies of the Ottawan. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away. Right, so they're going to be uh destroyed by that fire, that fire of the Lord's indignation, man. Yeah, that's right, man. Because as uh, as the scriptures also mentioned, roughly paraphrasing that the Lord, the Adawan, had, had the sacrifice in Basra, mm -hmm. you know, that's right, man. And that's part of that sacrifice as well, man. Two thirds, mm -hmm. you know, so, so they're going to perish, you know, if they make it to the, the day of the, the Lord, you know, that destruction, they're going to perish in that fire, man, that, where the elements shall melt with fervent heat. You know, the, uh, these uh, hypersonic missiles and the, the chariots, uh, the, those laser beams of fire <laughs> from the chariots, man. He said, left and melted, you know? Uh, That's crazy. Uh, but this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Adawan, our power, Yahweh by Shema Shai, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall hunger. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall thirst. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. 
that's that's that this two thirds, man. Right. That mm-hmm. unbelief. They're gonna have great shame for it, man. What is it saying? Th- uh, Psalm thirty-seven and nineteen about the servants, the elect, shall not be ashamed in the evil time. But there's gonna be nothing but shame for these unbelievers, man. Those that that do this uh, word in the garbage, man. Do it by the wayside. That did not uh, take the time to, uh, you know, to really uh, receive this word with with gladness and repentance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what you say when place of repentance was open unto them, they understood not, but despised it. Mm-hmm. God, you know, that's right, man. That's right, man. So that's why we we have to, uh, you know, not get too wrapped up in these carnal things and, and the worries of the flesh, man. The cares of this world, you know, we we gotta just continue to to stay in the spirit, man. To be seeking the, the mercies of the Ottawan and really uh, focused on this word, man. This word. Right, because there, there's going to be no value in anything else in the end days, man. Mm-hmm. Only thing valuable is going to be that oil, man. That's you right. know, that's right. That's what we're getting right now. That's right, man. We got to stay, uh, you know, on the plow, man, uh, drilling for that oil, you know, staying covered mm-hmm. in the oil. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Build on that investment that the Heavenly Father and I don't want y'all bashing y'all shots made in, in each of his men, man, the believers, man, and, and those. Who are doing this work, man? Starting with the other apostles of GMS and like-minded brothers across four wings, man. Because again, mm-hmm. we try to that number. We we trying to seek that hedge of protection, that covering, man. Mm-hmm. You know, because again, man, as it says now, since I referenced it twice, uh, Jeremiah thirty and seven says, "Alas, for the day is great, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it." All right, man. So speaking of that elect, so, okay. Man. Again, as referenced in uh, Daniel 12 and 1, which you read, you know. So going into that, man, Jacob, man, again, the elect are going to be saved out of it. They're going to be provided for, man. Do the hedge of protection of Yahweh, Shai, while the Holy Angels. You know, we're going to need that type of divine intervention with what's going to take place, man, because we see all the stops that Esau is willing to, willing to go to, man. You know, we haven't hey, seen. We ain't, we, ain't, we, ain't seen, we ain't seen the purest of his wickedness, man. Mm-hmm. You know, it's gonna yeah. be he gonna really show his ass, man. Soon, God. huh? God, exactly, man. We know he, he got they got cards in that deck that they haven't that they haven't pulled, man. You know what I mean? So they're gonna pull out all the stops because they know that the end draw nine. That, so, yeah, they got Salaki. No, go ahead, bro. That, that project Blue Beam, all types of you know different devices and stuff that Esau has, man, ready for to fire up, man. You mm-hmm. know, at any point, man, to try to deceive, man. That's why we're not ignorant. Of Satan's devices, man. Yeah. You know, brothers be on the watch, man, and knowing this man and, and what he, what he, what he could do, man. You yeah. know, and the That's Most right. High is revealing his ass, man. That's right, man. Mm-hmm. These, uh, you know, development of pestilences, man. You know, the do do weapons, de- direct energy weapons. You know, mm-hmm. do weapons, man. So yeah, man, we've we've only seen but but a fraction of what this devil's gonna pull out in the latter days, man. But mm-hmm. you know, go ahead, bro. Uh, this is uh, back to Ezekiel uh, 7 and verse 6. It says, an end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. <laughs> yeah, man, it's watching for thee, man. Okay, so it is dawn, man. It is, you know, the Adawani Habashim El is presenting these things, man. Mm-hmm. You know? It says, the morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Right. And that, term, and that term sounding in the mountains also goes into rejoicing, right? So that, that land of uh, the mirth, man, the mirth, as the scriptures also say, the mirth of the land is gone, right? And, and in these times, man, and very much so here in these latter days as well, man, we're going to see that perish, man, we're going to see that diminish. Hey, we in the house of mourning right now, and these people are in the house of mirth. Hey, and that day, man, they going to be in the house of mourning, right? And we going to be in the house of mirth, man. Mm-hmm. You know, in the kingdom. Not right now, man. you know. You know, mm-hmm. through the spirit, man, we in the house of mourning, you know. But we, we hasten the day, man. We hasten the day for the for destruction to happen, the kingdom come, man. The end is come, man. Just like he, just like Benad just said, man, the scripture, man. Yeah. You know? 
But at the same time, the end is coming, the beginning of our eternity. That's it. You know? You know, this is uh, the end of Jacob's world and and the beginning of, uh, I mean, it's not the end of Esau. That's the devil. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, the end of Esau. Yeah. Jacob, the world that followeth, man. That's what's coming. That's That's right. right. I don't know if it's that. Yeah. Yeah, real quick, brother. But uh, Block Live, you want to pull up uh, Zephaniah? You want to grab one? And we'll start at 14, Bubba Gashah? And we'll uh, we'll we'll go ahead and finish that chapter, Bobsha. Come on, this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter one and verse fourteen. The great day of the Adawan, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh power, is near. It is near, and hasten greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Adawan, Yahweh by Shem the mighty man, shall cry there bitterly. Mm-hmm. That's right, man. So the great day of the Adawan is near, right? And we feel that through the spirit, through the prophecies, being able to measure the times diligently, man. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And haste it quickly, man. So it's it's coming quickly, man. You know what I mean? Haste it greatly, man. So it's coming quick, man. Because again, as Akbana mentioned, yeah, I believe you mentioned as well, the, the speed time is speeding up for the Alexic. Mm-hmm. Right? So that voice of the Adawan, man. Okay. And that day, man, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Right? Because these devils. You know, with their military might, their guns, financial portfolios, social status, nothing's going to save these the other two thirds of the wicked, of these other heathen nations, man. Nothing's going to save them. Right. Mm. Yeah, go ahead, bro. You got it. And it says in verse 15 that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. Mm-hmm. That's right. And the, the outlook on this place, there, there ain't nothing good coming out. Just like you could uh, uh, check a, a weather forecast, you know. We're <laughs> out here giving a, a spiritual forecast, man. That That's there ain't right. nothing but destruction and evil coming to this place, man. Mm-hmm. It, the economy, uh, your outlook on, on your uh, your business is, is it's nothing but down, man. That's right. You know, and they, these uh, uh, people, uh, you know, they give that false sense of uh, hope, man. You know, you had Biden pushing for uh, for those oil companies to give them some time before the elections, man, to uh, pretty much uh, keep uh, gas prices from going up just so they can fool the, the average Babylonian into thinking that they, they got control of everything. But these damn uh, oil companies, what was that, a Saudi company? Mm-hmm. They were like, nah, nah, we ain't. We ain't playing with that. We ain't trying to appease you. Yep. So, hey, these prices went right up. And these uh, November, November midterms, you know, you're going to see a lot of people that are unhappy with the way that this government is, is ruling things, man. Mm-hmm. And, and they're going to shake it up, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I just paid $7, man, the other day, man. $7 yeah. a gallon, man. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's only going to shoot up, man. You know, if people think that it's... They, they, they lost if they think it's ever going to go back down to fucking oh, three, four dollars a gallon, man. You know what I mean? A lot of people are going to be fit soon come, man. Have to buy a bike, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's just how, you know, it's going to get like that, man. This is what like, Esau uh, is doing, man. Yeah, man. So, you know, like I said, man, I can just said, man, you know, you got this economy crumbling. You got everything that's fucking uh, falling, to, hey, falling to pieces. And people are also dipping into their savings, man. Mm-hmm. Yes, of, yes. A lot of people, man. So, but, uh, but anyways, the point being, man, you know, you got this, everything crumbling and falling apart, and you got this shitbird, fucking sleepy, creepy Joe fucking Biden, Salaki from my language, yeah. this dude over here eating a damn waffle cone and fucking ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> he like, I ain't worried about it. I got a bunker. That's what he's saying in his head. Like, yeah, damn fool over there, fucking cold stones and shit. Looking like the Michael Myers mask. And stuff, yeah. right? <laughs> like, come on, man. Uh, damn, freaking whispering in little girls' ears and shit. Like, yeah, come on. Seen it. Definitely yeah. can't come for that dude. Hey, is there any more? Uh, what is it? A perverse man as this man, Esau, Edom? Yeah, that's right, man. That's right, bro. That's right. That's right, that's right, right. We're not around on these devils, man. That's right, man. Ahead, bro. Verse 16. You can't. You got it, brother. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. Mm-hmm. That's right. These fortified cities, man. These fenced cities, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and these devils think they they got all this military might, man, which they're actually yeah. shelling out. You know, they're dwindling their ammo supplies and, and whatnot, right? Obviously, the uh, military recruitment is, has been crap for years. 
You know what I mean? So I mean, it, this place ain't it, it ain't fortified like that, man. You know? Hey, man. what what's two hundred? What's what's two hundred million missiles, man, to an iron dome, man? Yeah, Trash. Yeah. And, and especially when they're coming from all corners of the world. You know, um, just the other day, in fact, I think it was uh, it might have been this morning or yesterday. It was just reported that again. A Russian, two Russian uh, air vessels, I believe they were jets, if you will, were intercepted near the, uh, I believe they call it, uh, well, it's near the uh, area of Alaska. Oh, God. Yeah, man, well, that were basically where two uh, military jets, and, and I'm going to grab it right now just for edification's sake. And, uh, yeah, Shalak, yeah, for not having this. Uh, yeah, it says uh, US F-16 warplanes intercept Russian bombers near Alaska. Now, this is out of uh, Insider Paper. Now, it says uh, the two Russian bombers in international airspace near the state of Alaska, known as the North American Aerospace Defense Command, also known as NORAD. N-O-R-A-D is the abbreviation. But that's kind of like a, a joint program that's ran between the U.S. and Canada. Now, it says the TU-95 bombers were intercepted after entering and operating within the Alaskan air defense identification zone all right man so this is becoming more of a regular thing if you will it happens relatively frequently if you will but the point being is just that it, it's uh something that just took place again and uh within the past few months you know they, they had to do the same thing you know so it's it's continuously happening and they're per performing uh reconnaissance if you will um especially with with uh you know alaska beefing up their air defenses and whatnot recently buying you know spending a lot of money on, on jets upgrading their fleet so on and so forth man so you know they're they're pressing it man they're pressing the issue man and these these uh these other nations man you know obviously led by the bear russia you know what i mean and, and whatnot and, and and so and the chinese the so-called chinese being moab uh you know they're, they've got a lot of they've got a lot of force behind it man and, and they're willing they're starting to flex man they're really pushing it and what what is America doing? What is Babylon doing? They want to give. I, I believe it was like I, I seen like like three hundred billion dollars. I think to Ukraine or something like that. I said. So so they're they're giving another package. Uh, you, it's funny they mentioned that. Yeah. So overall, I think they've given somewhere around the 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 area of up to twenty billion. But as I said, but you make a great point because they're giving away packages packages more and more ammo money things and such man and they're depleting they're depleting their resources as well as yeah. these other eu and nato and all these allies that are coming into play man they're they're dwindling their own resources man so you know they're weakening their own capabilities man to to uh you know try to fight this contribute to this proxy war and uh you know ultimately it's it's detrimental to their own national interests but um, and the whole thing with the uh, oil pipeline, you know, that Nordic uh, pipeline attack, you know, to where they wanted the Western countries wanted to put a cap on the price of oil that Russia was charging uh, these Western countries. And pretty much Putin was saying that if they do that, he could just cut them off and not deal with them. Mm -hmm. And so they would be uh, left to uh, use their own reserves, which America has been doing. And it was just reported actually, uh, earlier today that Biden uh, announced that they're going to release up to 15 million barrels of oil from their uh, strategic petroleum reserve. Mm -hmm. And that, that reserve is, is being depleted very fast, man, mm -hmm. just this year. Gone. And that also is interesting too, because uh, of course, after tapping into those, those uh, supplies, those, those uh, kind of, you know, reserves, if you will, you know, uh, crack smoking freaking hunter biden and his his daddy freaking negotiated a deal to sell millions upon millions of barrels of that oil to china so they're they, stuff that we need <laughs> they're giving away the stuff that we need right here so so even in these latter days man they're still looking uh, into how can they line their own pockets you know you get all these well, all these politicians man and their sons who work on on a ukrainian energy board you know John, I believe John Kerry's son, Nancy Pelosi's son, you got Hunter crack smoking Biden, so on and so forth. <laughs> you get all these cats who are uh, of the, uh, you know, politicians, kids here in America, man, who are working abroad. They're getting paid, you know, by the Chinese, by the Ukrainians, so on and so forth, man. 
So you got all these damn devils that are tied in abroad, man. You know. I thought we got our oil and our gas from um, from Iran or something, or, or from the Middle East. I ain't. So the Saudis, the Saudi, the, the yeah, Saudi, Saudi Arabia, were major allies when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, but you know, and, and you know, America obviously they, that they produce, relationship is uh, becoming uh, severed, man. Yep. You know, with mm. reports of uh, Saudi Arabia applying for BRICS membership. Yeah. Uh. And so, God, but, yeah, um, but America does have a, a, a big reserve of oil. But, you know, one of those points being that they were releasing a lot of the millions of uh, barrels of oil back into the U.S. But that's nothing but uh, getting them uh, some money, you know, recovering some money that they've uh, given away to the proxy war and whatnot. So Americans are going to have to pay the price for it, man. They're going to be the ones that are going to have to pay this uh, uh, extreme amount for gas just to replenish the pockets of Esau, who just gave all this money away for this proxy war, man. Yeah. So and, and, and they're that, putting it all on the Americans again, man. God. And just to add on to that thought real quick, um, the, the way they regulate and overregulate these refineries and the companies that process it and provide it ultimately to the people, man, you know, it, the, all the costs of that falls back on the consumer. You know, all, all, all the costs of that, everything that they're doing to to kind of, uh, you know, again, overregulate and, and put a put a, a premium price. Tag. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's mm -hmm. just boosting the price up, man. Mm -hmm. So the, the cost to produce it's going up. Then, you know, obviously in manufacturing, therefore, the consumer is going to pay more. But go ahead. You got it. Now. We'll get back at 17. Verse 17 is Zephaniah 1. It says, and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against our power and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So it's going to be poured out, man. Seeing, you know, bodies in the streets, man, things like that, man. You know, there's going to be, and people, those who not, do not have the eye south, do not have the spirit, do not have this truth. Okay, are not covered by that the why that mark of exemption of judgment. Okay, those who do not have the hedge of protection of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. Okay, they're gonna be lost, man. Lost in the sauce, gonna be as blind men. All right. Go ahead, you got it. Act. And it says verse 18: neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Arwan Yahweh Bashim Shai's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all of them that dwell in the land God, God. within one hour i believe it said right yeah mm -hmm. that line is made desolate one hour yep that's right book of yeah. Yep. Mm. yeah that's right man so that's the kind of indignation again that righteous anger that fury that the Adawan Yom Bashim Yashai has, man, towards this place, man. God, and that, that thing about the silver and gold not delivering them is restated many times in mm -hmm. the scriptures, man. God. So this is the this is the gold that we have here, man, this truth. You know, this is the real gold, you know. The, that other stuff that's carnal and burnt up, that's fool's gold, man. But mm -hmm. we got the wisdom and the spirit of Yom Bashim Yashai, the thing that is, is not corrupted, not moth eaten and robbed. This is the thing, this is the crown that Yahweh I said, let no man take that crown. Mm -hmm. Wisdom being above rubies and, and you know, and any precious thing, right? Yeah, Proverbs 31. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right. Just real quick to add on to that thought. I'll grab a reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 11. I'll start at verse 3. It says, the integrity of the upright shall guide them, right? The upright, so those who are walking uprightly on the straight no path, while the, you know, ultimately being the hopeful elect, man, the elect, right? So it says, the integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Right, man? So the perverseness of transgressors, transgression being sin upon sin. Okay, a form of iniquity, man. Transgression is, is sin, right? Transgress the law. Okay? Proverbs 11 and 4 says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, for righteousness delivereth from death. Right, man? So riches ain't going to profit nothing, man, once again. As was just stated, man, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Ottawa's wrath. Except for 9, 1 and 18. All right, man. So again, that riches profit not in the day of wrath. Right. Okay, but righteousness delivered from death, man. So your hope, your faith, man, 
your ability to walk uprightly, man, and seek righteousness, man, to the best of your ability, man. Okay. Proverbs 11, 5, I'll finish here. It says the righteousness <clears throat> of the perfect shall direct his way. Okay. And that term perfect, I believe, also goes into uh, innocent. But just for uh, for edification's sake, let me bring out the strong real quick. Complete. It also goes into upright. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, Ezekiel 9 even words it. Uh, uh, Mark the the perfect man or the upright man. God. So I'm going to bring out the Strong's Hebrew. Go ahead. This is of the perfect. Strong's H 8549. Tamim. 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 Okay. So again, like I said, man, it goes into integrity, truth, also without blemish, complete, full, perfect, sincerely, or into sincerity, sound. Right, sound also goes into complete, okay, or whole, right? So without spot, undefiled, upright, whole. That's right, man. So all these things, man, so it goes into that perfection, man, right? So Proverbs 11 and 5, the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. That's right, man. So the own wickedness, man. As the old saying goes, man, in the world, you make your bed, you line it. Right, mm -hmm. or as the scripture say, "Rather paraphrase that which you uh, sow, you shall also reap." Mm -hmm. Right, man. So if you're you're, you're sowing wickedness, man, and, and transgression, and so on and so forth, man, that which is not profitable, you know, uh, uh, you know, that's if you're not bringing forth right fruit, man. Okay, to the Adwan Yah Bashim Yah Shai, if you're not showing yourself, you know, in a, you know, to repent, you know, in the names of Yah Bashim Yah Shai, man, you know, and, and you're gonna reap what you sow, you know. That's going to be wrath. That's going to be destruction, man. Uh, I'm going to jump back to the uh, book of Ezekiel, chapter 7 and verse 8. And it reads, Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And that's right. Like the brother Tom was just saying, uh, you reap what you sow, man. So if you're sowing wickedness uh, and not repenting unto Yahweh Yahweh you're going to get that recompense by way of uh, uh, righteous anger, that indignation, mm -hmm. the, the anger of the Lord. Yep, exactly. And that, that's generational as well, man. You know, our people continuously going off, man, going against the ways of Yahweh Yahweh man. And I just real quick to add on to that thought, Baba Shah, let me grab uh, Ezekiel 20, verse 7. Then said I unto them, Cast ye away every man the abominations of his eyes, and defile not yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Adawan, Yahweh Shim Shai, your power, your God. Right, man. So it's told for us to cast these things off, man. Not to idolize, you know, other deities and false gods, you know, and, and, and worship these, you know, these, these idols, man, these, these false doctrines, so on and so forth, man. Told to do away with these things. Ezekiel 20 and 8, but they rebelled against me and would not hearken unto me, right? So they would not hearken. They would not listen, man. They would not obey, right? So it says, they did They did not every man cast away the abominations of their eyes, neither did they forsake the idols of Egypt. Then I said, I will pour out my fury upon them to accomplish my anger against them in the midst of the land of Egypt. All right, man. So again, in the midst of it, man, they did wickedness, man, in the midst in the eyes of the Adawan, Yah Bashim Yah Shai. And uh, just to add further on to that point, uh, Ezekiel 20 and 19 says, I am the Lord, the Adawan, Yah Bashim Yah Shai, your power. Walk in my statutes and keep my judgments and do them and hallow my Sabbaths, and they shall be a sign between me and you that ye may know that I am the Adawan, Yah Bashim Yah Shai, your power, your God. Notwithstanding, the children rebelled against me, children of Israel, the 12 tribes. It says, they walked not in my statutes, neither kept my judgments to do them, which if a man do, he shall even live in them. They polluted my Sabbaths. Then I said, I would pour out my fury upon them to accomplish my anger against them in the wilderness. All right, man. So if we're going against that, I wonder if I should die. That fury will be poured out upon you. 
right? And that's mm -hmm. what of our people are going to have done here in Babylon, America in these latter days, man. Calm. All right, a quick precept. Okay, Second Ezra is nine and nine. Then shall they be a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Two thirds, man. You know, not taking heed to your Habashim al Shai, man. They're going to dwell in torments it soon come. Says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, right? These people go down to Egypt for help, man. You know, they receive the benefits from Esau, Edom, man. That's right. You know, they ain't know the most high, man. Yeah. And it says, that run to Egypt for help. That's right. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Just, in the book of Ezra, speaks of that these uh, plagues and pestilences are, are sent forth as uh, scourges for scourges, amendment, yeah. for amendment though to come back, amend to uh, to repent. But yet, two thirds will still not recognize that and come back to Yahweh That they they, un they understood not, but despised it to say so. Verse 11, it says, and they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, right? The, the Most High still got this, the truth out here, right? Still got the men of the Lord out here doing what they got to do for him, man, and for the rest of our people. And it says, where was I? And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. They despised the words. They despised Yahweh by Hashem, I was shot, man, at the end of the day. And it says, the same must know it after death by pain. You know, and that's what's coming to two thirds of our people, man. Uh, that that want to act dumber than a uh, than an ass and a damn ox, man. An ass and a damn ox is smarter than two thirds of our own people, man. They're the most stubborn creatures made. You know. That's right. They know what their master. You know. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into uh, Ezekiel seven and verse nine and it says and mine eye shall not spare neither will i have pity i will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee and ye shall know that i am the adawan that smited mm -hmm. sorry, man. Our, our people continue to abound in, in folly man in iniquity man even even here in these latter days as well man they're not seeing you know, not hearkening, man. They're not seeing the signs of the Lord visiting <laughs> on the earth, man. You know, they're they're not seeking spiritual things, man. They're seeking carnal things, man, and how they can prolong the ways of their life. That's right. You got many uh, people out here that that no longer uh, believe in uh, a God. That they they think that just Esau beat them. The the white man is the God on the earth, man. Mm -hmm. Or they they worship themselves as gods, you know. Mm -hmm. But they're gonna recognize. The true living power, Yahweh, in that day, man, when when He comes and smites this earth, man, further and further, when there what is nothing but signs of the Most High uh, bringing this place to uh, an end here, man. Yep. He said that my people should be willing in a day of thy power. Yep, and a lot of people, man, are gonna see that it's gonna be too late. That's right. They're gonna have no works, man. Uh, they're not gonna have that. They're not gonna be shown. To have that true faith and, and, and sincerity, man. Yeah, this is uh, Ezekiel 7 and 10. Behold, the day, behold, it is come, the morning is gone forth, the rod hath blossomed, fire hath budded, violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor any, nor of any of theirs. Neither there shall there be willing for them. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, we're not going to feel bad. There's going to be no mourning because there's going to be nothing but, but death out here, man. People are not going to uh, be burying the dead. People are not going to be uh, slowing down because if, if they uh, stop to, to mourn, they're going to be, be dead themselves, man. You know, the people are going to be uh, hardened in these evil times, man. What does it say that the love of many shall wax cold? So... Hey man, this this is becoming a cold world out there, as they say, man. But it is because that violence has risen up, man. You know, people are uh, into a rod, you know, and that's that staff, and then that's what Esau is gonna come in with. Nothing but violence, man. When he comes with that martial law and those UN troops, you know, they're they're gonna be a uh, uh, you know a very uh, angry people. Uh, what is it? Uh, 
what does the scripture say about them uh, um, coming in and, and you know pretty much having no pity, but mm-hmm. but them uh, you know sparing none as a madman, yep. you know. But hey, man, we see that this uh, this is blossomed. This is uh, pride hath budded, and it's all part of the process, man. Because after something uh, buds and it comes forth, man, it is is decays after, man. So we're seeing the the process of peace and power decaying, man. It's uh, at its end, man. Yeah. And there's gonna be no wailing for them, man. And especially the elect, man. The elect aren't going to be wailing for any of these uh, wicked people that get destroyed out here, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want the NLT? Con. Yeah, Bob Shaw, if you could grab that. Uh, Ezekiel 12 and 13 in the NLT. Yeah, from 7, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah from seven. Seven. Chapter Con. 7. Con. Yeah, I'm going to read a couple of verses from the NLT version of uh, Ezekiel 7. Which uh, we're gonna follow up with, go with uh, Ezekiel seven and twelve in the NLT. It says, "Yes, the time has come; the day is here. Buyers should not rejoice over bargains, nor sellers grieve over losses, for all of them will fall under my terrible anger." Mm-hmm. So, uh, no time to be proud, man. That's right, man. So you aren't gonna be able to to find bargains anymore. You aren't going to be able to even afford anything, man, at the at this time because there's going to be nothing to buy up, man. And these sellers are, are not even going to be able to um, to really sell anything <coughs> any of their business, man. Their, their business, they're going to be closed up, man. You know, close up shop time. So uh, both are going to be mourning, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Ezekiel 7 and 13 in the NLT. Even if the merchants survive, they will never return to their business. For what the Most High has applies has said applies to everyone. It will not be changed. Not one person whose life is twisted by sin will ever recover. Mm. So, man, these uh, these sellers out here, man, will, they're going to be hoping that they could just sell anything, no matter how uh, low of a price that they're going to be trying to sell it for, man. But, uh, you know. There ain't going to be nobody that's going to buy it, man. Because the only thing that people are going to be doing, man, is invading each other for the lack of good, man. Mm-hmm. There's, there's no uh, dainties or pleasantries to be uh, worried about, man. It, it's nothing but survival mode. Mm-hmm. God. That's right. But like you said, man, the uh, you know the business is going to be uh, closed up, man. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, many of these people that, that are consumed in the ideas of starting their own businesses or, or you know, uh, Israelite community, this and that, you know, they're gone, man. They're through. The that, that doctrine is through, you know, to where they, they don't truly uh, understand and they don't have the spirit, man, because they would know that this place is done, man. Everything is going to be closed up and destroyed, man, to where, hey, we're just trying to get beamed up on those ships and go home. That's the only thing that we need to uh, focus on, man. Mm-hmm. Not building a community, not over here trying to start your uh, uh, Israelite business, this and that. Yep. They're just... gonna be they they're gonna be selling fringes all the way up until a destruction. Huh? Nah, man. <laughs> hey, man, and that's the, the carnality of these people, bro. Mm-hmm. Right, man. But um, I'm gonna continue here with uh, this is Ezekiel seven and fourteen, and it says uh, this is the KJV version. They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none goeth to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Mm-hmm. That's right, man. So this trumpet being blown, you know, being blown to. Um, you know, to give warning of the impending uh, dangers, destruction, you know, mm-hmm. everything to uh, make everybody uh, ready, man, to make them aware of what's going on, you know. And uh, if these people are not taking heed to it, man. There's none that, that have the courage to even accept that. You know, mm-hmm. that's why a lot of people have a hard time even accepting this truth, man, because they don't have the spirit. They, they fear 
that if it is true that they that they don't have the strength man to fight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of mm -hmm. they just continue to say things like oh it's not my lifetime oh i'm not gonna see the end oh that's not gonna happen anytime soon so on and so forth man you know they, they they're ignorant you know what i mean in that sense that they just want to see this world and the ways of of you know esau of Edom continue to thrive and flourish here man you know and they're just happy with what little breadcrumbs you know fall off the table man of their master right a gift destroyed the heart a gift destroyed the heart Khan. yeah that's right man. yeah that's right man Khan, but what does it also say that the uh that the harvest is plenteous but the laborers are few mm -hmm. mm. yeah so hey man uh you know that trumpet's been uh been put out there the warning's been put out there but you've only got a few uh people that are ready for the battle man that are gonna fight for you how about shot mm -hmm. mm. hey if they don't want to hear this trumpet right now man the men of the lord man speaking these things hey they're gonna in that day when i'm when i'm what is it the the air raid missile uh the, oh, the right. air, yeah the air sirens right. hey they're gonna hear that yeah and then they're gonna be really scared man Exactly, man. I'm gonna start shitting bricks. <laughs> you know, flock it for my language. <laughs> but say that's what it is. That's true. Right. Now I'm gonna grab uh, verse 15 here, uh, Ezekiel 7 and 15 in the NLT version, just again for a little bit of a different trans uh, translation. Um, this is the New Living Translation. And uh, it reads Ezekiel 7 15, NLT says, There is war outside the city and disease and famine within. Those outside the city walls will be killed by enemy swords. Those inside the city will die of famine and disease. Ooh. Hey, because they're gonna be trapping, they gonna be trapping people in the cities, man. What it says, scripture said, uh, a man shall desire to go into a city and cannot. Yeah, no, she should not be able to. That's, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, man. Well, these, you know what I mean? With everything that's gonna come down, you know, these different forms of martial law, things as such, man. You know, uh, yeah, man, in all these different, you know, FEMA camps, man, you name it, things as such, man, that are going to befall Babylon America here, man. Yeah, it's, it's going to get heavy. And that also speaking on uh, men of war, you know, yep. that men that are serving Esau's military, they're going to be going out, uh, leaving Babylon, going to these other places, then they're going to be killed, man, in, in that war, you know. But, huh. And the people that are here in Babylon, man, they're going to be uh living in jacob's trouble you know with the the diseases more pestilences uh, and famine here and, yep. and you know civil unrest and all out hell breaking this man yep so where hey and then you're gonna have this these militaries in here um you know killing people as well yep mm. that's right man we're gonna see some heavy times man but hey man that's why it's just continue it's ever important man to continue to abound in this work you know, continue to do the work of, of you know, y'all by Shimmy on shot to the best of our ability, man. All hands on deck mentality, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to continue at the Ezekiel uh, 7 and 16. But they that escape of them shall escape and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them mourning, every one for his iniquity. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. right. So those that uh, are able to escape these, uh, you know the destructions of certain cities man you know they might see a whole uh community get destroyed and they might be the only one that's able to get out man and they're gonna go and flee you know run to the high uh high places and, and hide out in the middle of nowhere or something man but they're gonna uh, uh be like a, a dove man to where they're gonna be um you know a dove always uh represents you know somewhat of mourning and sadness man but you know we're gonna be uh, mourning for for our sins, you know, and mourning to uh, uh, you know be made uh, you know be made a, a, a sacrifice unto the Lord that's acceptable, you know, because we know that we're all worthy of death as well, man. Mm -hmm. God actually uh, ties into uh, you know Ezekiel uh, fourteen. And I'll start at 21 real quick, just to add on to that thought. It says, For thus said the Adawan, Yahweh Shemel Shaf, Power, how much more when I send my four sword judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword mm. and, and the famine, and the noise of the beast and the pestilence, to cut off 
from it man and beast. Yet behold, therein shall be left a remnant that shall be brought forth, both sons and daughters. Behold, they shall come forth unto you, and ye shall see their way and their doings. And ye shall be comforted concerning the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, even concerning all that I have brought upon it. And they shall comfort you when ye see their ways and their doings, and ye shall know that I have not done without cause all that I have done in it, saith the Adawan, Yahweh, Bashi, Yahweh, Shai, Power. Amen. So again, man, speaking of that remnant, man, and, and speaking of those with the hedge of protection of Yahweh, Bashi, Yahweh, Shai, man. God, and just to uh, finish on that thought of the, the doves, you know, the doves uh, cry, you know, it's it, the way that it, it falls out, man. It is like a, a, a metaphor for for those that are going to be, um, you know, lamenting unto the Adawan, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. And we're, we're constantly uh, lamenting unto him uh, to this day, man. And, and even more so through our troubles, man. Yeah. What did he say? He said, I set a mark on the foreheads of them that sigh and that cry for oh, all God. the abominations. God. That'll be done. Mm -hmm. right. You know, I'm going to plug, plug the brother real quick, Shalom. To the brothers, Israel, world without end, seven seven seven. Shalom, to you brothers. Babu Shah, subscribe to these brothers. Be edified right. out there, getting the work for Yahweh Hashem All right, that's yeah. what it's all about, man. Let all things be done unto edifying. God, this is um. I'm we'll jump back into um. This is Ezekiel uh, seven and seventeen. It says all hands shall be feeble and all knees shall be weak as water mm -hmm. that's right man because again man everything all the things that are going to be fall to earth man in these latter days you know, there's going to be many that become uh, wax feeble man you know spiritually mentally physically mm -hmm. you know that's right you know going days and day upon days without eating uh hardly any water you know just spiritually uh you know or mentally broken you know a lot of these people are not going to have the strength to keep going man a lot of these men are going to be wishing uh, that they uh, found death, you know. Mm -hmm. That's right. But um, you know, and that also going into uh, uh, even the mighty men shall, uh, you know, cry bitterly. Cry bitterly yeah, you that's know? that kind. Of, that's it. That's the spirit. Yeah, that's kind. Of. But um, we go into Ezekiel seven and eighteen. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them. And shame shall be upon their faces, and baldness upon all their heads. Mm -hmm. So that's that sign of mourning, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, horror, that's right. They shall gird themselves with sackcloth. That, that that's going into them being, uh, you know, without. They're, they're not going to have any goods. They're not going to have any type of, uh, you know, things that are, are uh, you know, material goods. You know. Yeah. The horse will cover them, man, because there's going to be nothing but danger to the left and to the right, man. In yeah. shame be upon their faces, man, for for their unbelief, for for not uh, trusting the word, and baldness upon their heads, because they're not going to have any knowledge, man. They're not going to have any knowledge of the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Real quick, add on to that, brother Balak Live. You want to grab Baba Shah? You want to grab uh, Amos or uh, eight? And we'll go with nine and ten, Bob Gasha. This is the book of Amos, chapter eight, verse nine. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Adawan, our power, Yahabashamah, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the day. I'll darken the earth in the clear day. Mm -hmm. It hey, says, ahead. it says, and I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon every head. And I will make it as the morning of an only son and the end thereof as a bitter day. Woo. Right, man. So a bitter day, man. It's a bitter thing, man. That great and terrible day, man. Those times, right? Maybe times, man. All these people that are residing in that house of mirth, man, right? In the house of feasting, all right? 
all that's going to come to an end, man. It's going to come crashing down on them, man. And the Heavenly Father is going to completely flip the script, man. All right, man. So all those things, man, that great warning, that great lamentation, man. Right? So that, that sackcloth, that baldness, man, going into, again, signs of mourning, man. Mm. Right? So everything, man, going to hit the hit the wall, man, and come crashing down, man. And, you know, carnally, you know, a lot of times uh, they say that people's uh, baldness, uh, you know, some of it can be, uh, you know, heavily stress. Stress. Huh? Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, as was mentioned also in the scriptures, yeah, distress, man. It's going to be time of distress, man. People are going to be losing their shit, if you will, <laughs> just to say it bluntly. Uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't when you get uh, radiation poison, doesn't it cause like a cancer or something? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it could, you know, potentially it cause, obviously we've seen, you know, things like in Chernobyl, thing, you know, Nagasaki, all that stuff, man. We've seen the effects of that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, you know, potential outcome but obviously that's uh yeah man you're saying that's how they could be bald too you know yeah, yeah. i mean there's many uh, different yeah. ways but obviously yeah sickness is uh definitely uh another form of uh baldness or cause it's like a yeah. we know you saw working these days so i ain't trying to say ain't trying to say too much on that <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna jump over to um ezekiel 7 and 19 it says uh they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the adawan they shall not satisfy their souls neither feel their vowels because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity mm -hmm. right man many of these people all they cared about was the the worship of, of carnal things, money, mm -hmm. uh, uh, status here in Esau's uh, kingdom, his rulership, and this has become a stumbling block. You know them not trying to please and seek the other ones. Uh, you know, good, good standing, man. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, to where you know they're not going to be able to satisfy their souls, man. Because what are what's going to be their desire of their souls, man, mm -hmm. is to be saved, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're be they want to live but hey it's not going to be in the cards for them because they have not seek the other one why he he was able to be found now hey so, they're gonna they're gonna take that charisma seeking to you know be saved man by esau man and at the end of the day still be destroyed man god that's right yeah that's right that's man good. man talks about these riches man being tossed man not, not holding any true any value man mm -hmm. you know and it also goes down to say they shall not satisfy their souls neither fill their bowels that's also being the stomachs, man, because it's going to be great famine. It's going to be great wealth. That's right. Well, you know? money's going to be worthless, man. Yeah. You know, it's going to be more of a, a barter system. So, yeah, you know, what are you going to do giving somebody a damn piece of paper or some coin that, that has no value to it, man? Yep. Yeah, they're going to want to trade something uh, that's, you know, uh, it's a material that's worth something, you know? Hey, they're going to be using these dollar bills, man, and stuff like that, man, as fire starters, man. Here it is, people dying over this money right now, but soon come people are gonna be using this to start fires. Are you serious? Yeah, just show them, man. This place is just done and through it, and so is the economy and and, and they and they and they money, man. Exactly. It's all worthless. So exactly, man. So food, water, and shelter, man. Those are gonna be the most important things, man, to to seek. And, and so yeah, man, people are gonna be going to extreme measures to also do that, man. You know, especially for people in, with, with young children and 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 those who have to provide for others, man. You know, so it's gonna be heavy. It's gonna be some heavy times, man. But that's why it's important, you know, to continuously seek the protection, the hedge protection, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of how to want y'all bust your milk shot. Got it. Got it. Um, but yeah, man. Any you brothers uh, got anything else through the spirit? You know, I think we could probably close out there. Okay. I got one more through spirit, y'all. Yeah, Bashim Al Shah. Okay, yeah. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine and verse seven. It says, "And every one that shall be able, uh, like it, and every one that shall be saved, and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed." Right, this is what we're getting right now. Right, 
you know, uh, and we doing the works, man, and believing and keeping the faith, man, that we might be saved, right? And it says in eight, it says, shall be preserved, which we hoping that we are preserved mm -hmm. from the said perils, judgment, and shall see my salvation in my land, right, uh, in Yerushalayim, Jerusalem. It says, and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning, man. Adawan Ratzazah, man, we are that number, man, that was sanctified from the beginning of the foundation of this earth to receive and do these works to receive salvation, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah, that's right, man, because that famine, the sword, the pestilence, the hour of temptation, man, all these said perils that are going to take place, man. We're trying to make it back, man. We're trying to be beamed up, man, and make it back to the land of our fathers, man. Make it back to the Holy Land. Be of the first fruits, man, the elect. That's what this huh. is all about, man. You know, repenting in the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and seeking election, man. And not all about desire. The true believers and the followers of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh who are doing so in, in sincerity, man. You know, Lord willing, they'd be of that number, man. I don't want desire. We'd be of that number. So, That's you know, right. In our households, man. Oh, beautiful, man. Way to, you know, that's it, man. Way to, way to bring it out, man. Kind of, uh, kind of. So, I want to close out by giving. All honor, glory, and praises unto our Howard Yahweh. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Once again, double honors to our elder apostles, bishops of Great Millstone, who rule the people of sound doctrine. Shalom to the like minded brethren, teaching the Shalom. truth. Shalom. Keep pushing. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, mm -hmm. to the tabernacle of David, mm -hmm. seeking uh, salvation and repentance in these latter days. Mm -hmm. And the water for all the brothers and sisters tuning in. Uh, Shalom. Peace be unto you and your households. Y'all bash me out shot, barack a thumb. Y'all bash me out shot, barack a thumb. That's right. So, we like to th throw a curse upon this place. Ba 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 DJA soon and very soon. Kwame Asharala. Right. Shalom. Shalom.